All right, what is going on? What the fuck is happening with y'all folks? It's been a hot minute, but as you can see by the title of the video, by the length of the video, by the camera angles, this is a 4K set. You can turn that dial in the little YouTube corner and put it in 4K. See us crisp as fuck. We got onto something new, and as y'all can tell, this is the Close to Coast show with your host, Borrow and and this is just gonna be a little different as y'all can tell we was i was just thinking the podcast who listens to the full hour of the podcast y'all not doing that so we're gonna compromise shorten up the videos to help with y'all's what was it bro your fucking head your mata to help with y'all's attention span. attention span that's the word i was looking for attention span Y'all attention span is cooked because of TikTok, bro. Look, he on his phone. He can't even, he can't even help himself. It's cooked because of TikTok. So we, we just had to shorten it up because we love that y'all love the clips, but we also want y'all to love our long form content. We got yeah. topics that we are gonna go over, written down, pre, 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 already pre, meditated, bro. pre meditated. That's the, see, this, this is why we go together like freaking fracking hair on your back. You see what I'm talking about? All right, so we're going to get into our first topic of the day. Now, this topic was written down by me. Let me tell you about it. We all know what's been going on with the Diddy situation. We all know that Diddy has been diddling. You you, you know what you diddly do? do, do. Diddle, Diddy has been diddling. He's been diddling. We've been focusing. A lot of social media has been focusing on the the baby oil bottles. Yeah. They, they was focusing on that pretty hard. They was... They was it, all that shit about what he did, the parties he had, who was at the parties, all that shit. Crazy. All right, before I get into this topic of question, let me ask you a question. Would you have been at a Diddy party? Yes. I ain't gonna see him lie like that. <laughs> Y'all hey, bullshit. I would have been at the party. I would have been at the party too, yeah, bro. All them people, all the motherfuckers that come to that party, all them damn celebrities, damn right. All the famous people was there, bro. Man, I wouldn't. Shit. I'd be used shit. I be in that bitch slipping the slider on my damn chest. <laughs> hey. Slipping the slider with a bottle of Ciroc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a you know, cap, right? King Combs. This King Combs shit. <laughs> shit lit. Hey, speaking of King Combs, that is what the topic is about. King Combs, a.k.a. if you don't know, Diddy's son. The one that looks just like him, actually. The picture is mm -hmm. the going to be up here. But... King Combs is taking over P. Diddy's Instagram to show all of the positive things Diddy has done. What do you think about that? I think that, that is a good thing to do. And just because of how, how just, just how everybody is just basically talking about how his dad is and all this shit is bringing up. But at the end of the day, it's like, my nigga, for years, people have been talking about your daddy. It's, for like, you. it's been rumors, background. Like, like been, this is background you, it's, information. It's years, if he was in the industry, you know about what years, was going on. Years, 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 decades worth of bullshit behind your daddy name. Little nigga, you too late for all that bullshit, nigga. Don't, why now you want to do that? I feel like, because right. he, he's been in that bullshit already, right? How long has it been that... Since that trial, or when it first came out. Oh, like, you talking about, like, the, the house raids and shit? Yeah, like, how long? I feel like that would happen, I want to say, almost, like, a year ago. Like Almost, yeah. yeah so almost, like, a year ago. Almost a year ago, ago and he just now want to start thinking being positive? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Hey, what would you do if it was your dad in that situation, and you was a loving son, you got that good father-son relationship with that nigga, like, I can see where King Combs is coming from, from a point like, this is my dad yeah, that's and all that. But it's like, bro, you got to you gotta realize the fact. So dad might have done some sick <laughs> shit. But that's he the might, thing, bro. He might have done some sick stuff. You you see your parent as, as a hero. You yeah. will never see them doing wrong. Regardless, it's like same thing with your family. It's when it's your parent or someone that you care about, fuck with as family, you you only support them as much as like you, you can, unless... It's really something that goes against your morals as a character, your character morals. Maybe not everybody else, but you know, in the same time, in the, I feel like in the celebrities' limelight, you gotta be a certain way. You know yeah, you gotta act a certain way, move a certain way. Do you think? Do you think that King Combs, aka Diddy's son, is privy to all the information, like what his dad was doing? Like, do you think he knows everything? He know he know a good majority. A good a good amount. Man, just off the screen for how Diddy's his personality is. 
that's what his son was. He looked like he'd tell his son, oh, God, like, this, he don't give a fuck. Like, he already don't give a fuck type of nigga. So, damn right, his son, though. He probably put his son on to a little bit of shit, but he, you know what I mean? His son just gonna do shit the more modern, different way. Like yeah. us, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? But, damn right. His dad was too powerful. I wanted his daddy. He wouldn't know what his dad do. <laughs> and more. That's me. You don't know who my daddy is, nigga? And I'm not gonna lie, though. If my daddy made all them hits, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Diddy's still coming on in my, my playlist. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. Diddy, Diddy is still rocking in my playlist, bro. I'm not gonna cap. I'm not getting rid of Biggie I songs. Fan. I was never a Diddy fan. What? Diddy had hits, man. He did, though. He did. I was never a nigga to listen to Diddy. Hey, man. All right. Next topic. You can do the, you can do the. Do you honest with reading the card? Next topic on a close to coast motherfucking show. This is the show. Remember that. This is not close no motherfucking podcast no more. That's old. This is new. So, okay, nigga. So this is our topic, man. Trump winning the election. How do you feel about that? How do I feel about Trump winning the election? I'm not gonna lie. I saw this shit coming, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I never I, I, I I'll say this. I hoped. I did hope for Kamala to win. I hoped for her to win. But I know America. I'm not. I'm not ignorant, or I'm just not. I know what how Americans think. Mm-hmm. Like a mass majority of Americans think, bro. And I think more than more than Kamala's views. I feel like nobody really knows Kamala's viewpoints like that. I feel like they didn't really care. Yeah. Most people wanted to just didn't want to see a woman in office. in office and a black woman at that. They wouldn't even let a white woman. Hillary Clinton tried. Hillary Clinton. Bill Clinton was the president and they didn't let Hillary Clinton become the president. Mm-hmm. They was not yeah, letting that black going. woman become president, bro. No, but I could not have seen it, bro. They hey, did say a good pause yeah. right there. If any all of this information, we ain't do no fact checking. This is all what. Now we may be right about some of it. We may be wrong a little bit about some of it. But that does not, be, yeah. But that does not mean that we've truly and a hundred percent feel that way or leaning towards this way. At end day, all of this is speculation. Hey, and what we feel. This is we feel. feel like. This is vibes. You know what I'm saying because at end day, we don't give a fuck. Nah, not really. Like I'm not gonna lie to y'all. If y'all and if some of y'all gave a fuck as much as y'all say y'all gave a fuck, y'all would have voted yeah. in a local election. Stop only voting once every four a years, lot of bro. Things would be changed in here. Y'all, y'all gotta stop. I don't like that social media pretending to give a fuck, but in real life you don't give a fuck, and that's so weird to me. I'm not gonna lie. And then you judge people who don't give a fuck for not giving a fuck, but you really, really don't give a fuck. Yourself. You really don't give a fuck yourself. Like, that's that's really the thing with me. But let's get back to the cop. We get derailed. Go ahead. Well, yeah, but damn, I forgot what you was about to say. But other than that, for real, for how I feel about Trump, like like you said, I agree. Like, already off rip, we knew like necessarily that she was not gonna win. People already this also the strength of how many people talk about Trump. How Trump was always talked about even after he was done with his term, bro. He was gonna win again, like. When the election started, she already beat damn near was getting twenty one, bro. She was oh, yeah. When the, he when the he blew her out. Taken, they first she was, was already first getting blown off. out, bro. Like it was already like a, a crazy ass percentage higher than what she did. Like he had a a whole, and then the popular votes. She had a he had a whole ten million extra plus votes. Yeah. popular vote than her. Like that's people really like him versus then what the fuck she had going on. Understand what I'm saying? Whatever they first views and when they talking about I align, I don't say who I align with, but I really rather for the people for people of my color, you know, just in case for yeah. the things he said, I rather Kamala for certain shit that he said. Yeah. But then there's things that Trump said that I was just like, oh hell no, nah. like he can't be in there. But there's other things that he does that I feel like is a good thing for the American people, as in being a leader. And that's what I feel as. I'm not saying that Kamala can't be one because I just haven't seen her in that that position to be a leader in that position. Bro, like, I forgot where it was exactly. I I know it's one part of the United Nations, bro. When Trump was first in office, the niggas did not like him. Like, the UN, they did not yeah, like him. They, they would not let him in the United Nations meetings, bro. 
Yeah, and that's crazy. That that's too. crazy to say for our mm. president, the per- the person who represents America, the person that's supposed to be standing in front of the flag, you know, the the big yeah, ass the green flag, screen yeah. flag with the goddamn eagle on his shoulder, screaming, mm. ha, ha, ha. Like Theodore Roosevelt, with a machine gun in right hand, mm. bald eagle on the left, in the American in American hat. flag. Uncle that's Sam who's hat. To, that's who's supposed to represent us, bro. And they're not mm. even allowing him in the UN meetings. That's Crazy, bro. I didn't know we're all Americans. You know what I'm saying? We're all Americans. The I only feel thing like we the only thing our problem is is too much infighting with Americans in, within ourselves that we can't all fight and be like, this is America. Fuck Europe. You know what I'm saying? If we want to be like that, fuck, fuck Russia, fuck China, fuck Britain. We should all be on some patriotic shit. That's how that's just how I should feel. That's why I feel like with a lot of things. There are some things I view as with Kamala and the Democrats, and there's a lot of things I view that I agree with with the Trump and the Republicans. That's what you know. People don't like to hear that. You can't have two sides. You gotta either follow one or align with two. And shit. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, we're gonna switch over to the next topic again. We're gonna pull these topics. I'm telling you, we this is speeding up. This is not the Coast to Coast podcast. This is the Coast to Coast mother. Fucking show. Make sure you turn that dial into 4K. I ain't recording this shit in 4K for no motherfucking Fuck reason. reason man. When you sent me this topic, I didn't really know what you meant by that. So this is your topic. I'm going to need you to break that one down for me. I was saying, okay, the topic was the, the the comparison of the division when COVID was around, also when elections come around. As in what I'm saying, to more simplify it, of when people were, were saying, hey, if you don't go get a vaccine... You are the cause of why people are here spreading the germs and getting sick. If you don't go do what you need to do, that's your fault. You're the problem. It's you. You're a problem to helping all these people get sick. If you don't go get that, go get tested, or you do not go get the vaccine. Versus when the election comes around, you don't do your research. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't do your due diligence. You are not a person for not voting. If you say voting doesn't matter, you are the problem. You are this. You suck. You should go kill yourself. Same way. That's why I was saying bitch is a good bitch. What do you feel like? Which? What do you feel as is more? You feel more from the people or more outrage from versus when it's COVID. The outrage of because you didn't do what you wanted to, was supposed to, or versus when yeah. it's come to election. I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna lie. That's a good question. I'm gonna say, COVID was pretty bad mm-hmm. because it was like a global pandemic. Niggas didn't know what the fuck was going on. But honestly, I think there was a lot of people. Not even just like, there was a lot of people who weren't getting vaccinated, right? There was a lot of them because it was just like, how the fuck you going to put out a vaccination that fast? Why are you saying I, there was a lot of questions about the vax. Like, why are you saying I need this shit? People were, people were very skeptical about the vaccination. Voting, people like, I think people are just stupid, bro. I think that's what really what it is when it comes to voting. So I'm a the answer to your question, I'm going to say voting. I feel like people be more mad at you if you don't vote. But I feel like, nigga, people are always like, because I'm a black man, I'm a black man. People be like, you know, they fought for your right to vote. They fought for your right to vote. You should vote. You need to exercise your rights. What? Like, didn't you just hear that, though? Like, you didn't hear what you just said. They fought for my right to vote. That doesn't mean I have to vote. I have the option to vote. Like, if I, I don't, like... I don't feel like voting. If you don't want to vote, you shouldn't have to vote. I, first of all, I don't think a lot of you guys should vote. Y'all niggas don't be doing the motherfucking research, bro. Y'all just be putting anybody in the motherfucking office. Mm-hmm. Look at the candidates we have running for president. Like, come on, bro. Y'all, and then y'all only say to vote once again when it comes to the presidency, bro. Y'all never say, y'all, bro. Niggas, ha- niggas run for election every like six months, bro. Mm-hmm. I do not see y'all talk about go vote until it's the big one. Until it's yeah. the big one. The one that's going to affect you, you. personally as an individual least. 
The one mm-hmm. that's the one y'all yeah. are telling me to vote for. Y'all not telling y'all never tell me to go for the mayor. Y'all never tell me to vote for who's the Senate who's the chairs. the Senate, the fucking House the board the 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 board, the board of, of education. Yeah. Like y'all don't give a fuck about those. Y'all only care about the big one because those are the ones that everybody cares about. Yeah. You're supposed to care about. It looks good to it's, care about. It's mainly pushed by the media. It's mainstream. It's mainstream. Yeah, it's like mainstream thing. Y'all, if y'all told me to go vote for every election, like if I saw one person say, "Hey, come down vote this election. Come down." That's the person I would listen to. Mm-hmm. I'm not listening to y'all that in y'all's internet politics, bro. Y'all internet politicians, bro. Y'all are not good politicians, bro. It's, and you know we're sharing our opinions on the. On the topic of the of like politics, on the topics of like uh, the presidency and all that, but we know we're not no damn politicians. Yeah, I'm not a politician. Y'all niggas be on y'all Instagram stories acting like y'all damn politicians, yeah. like y'all participating in their campaign, bro. I'm y'all are seen, not in I'm their seen, campaign. I've been seeing a lot of Susan B. Anthony's, Martha Stewart, some motherfucking Rosa Parks. Yeah, y'all really Michael pissed me Hanses. off with this election one, bro. Like this shit was just it just and the people don't understand. That's the mother. Fucking go divide you niggas, divide us, bro. Like why the fuck do everybody don't understand? It's either black and white, yellow and blue, green and red, red and blue. It's either motherfucking rich poll, middle of the poll. It's either you get it, Republican or Democrat. Let's stop the, the fucking division. Hey, and let me say this right now. Let me say this right now. Let me say this right motherfucking now. Now, there's a lot of y'all doing this on election day, right? There's a lot of y'all doing this. So don't think I'm targeting any which one of y'all. Please don't think that. But if you're unfollowing people because of their political views, bro, that just shows that... What is what, what is the word I'm looking... You're... you. Oh, my God. What is the word I'm looking for? Oh, my God. In one track minded, you can't handle other people's point of views. There's a word mm-hmm. for that, and I cannot fucking find it, and it's pissing me off. But either way, if you can't listen to somebody else's point of view, that's terrible. You should always yeah. be able to listen to other All sides of the fence, bro. Even if you don't agree with it, there's there's little parts in there. People aren't just crazy, bro. People mm-hmm. think a certain way because of a certain reason, bro. Yeah. Like you should be able to... Okay, let me let me put it out there. I was in the Army, bro. Let me put it like this. I was in the Army. When you're in the Army, you you, you share space with a lot of different people, bro. You share spaces. You sh- We shared one big-ass bay room. You, you're just always interacting with all different t- types of people because people join the Army from different places. You might meet a white boy from Alabama. I did meet a lot of white people from Alabama. Viewpoints different from mine. We grew up different. But I can yeah. still see their viewpoints. I can see there's rationality to yeah, that. Right. I don't just dismiss it because I don't agree, agree. with it. Yeah. And like, for example, I didn't listen to country music not one bit before I joined the army. Not one time did I ever say, "Hey, turn that shit, turn that country on, nigga, turn that motherfucker country on, nigga." I ain't never say that. I ain't never say that. But then. I met my dog Udi, bro, in the army. We shared, we shared a room. We was in Poland, deployed. This nigga will always play some country shit, bro. I won't mad at yeah. it. This shit kind of slap. Like, hey, I would have never seen that if I didn't hear his yeah, point yeah. of view, bro. If I didn't hear it, like, come on, bro. Like, seven summers by Morgan. Come on, bro. Mm-hmm. Seven summers ago. That thing you talked about. And that's that shit, man. I don't even want to but see, I got that because I can listen to other people's perspective. That's all I gotta say about that. Y'all, y'all gotta stop that unfollowing somebody just because you don't agree with them, bro. I mean, you can unfollow somebody because you just don't agree with them. It's your social media page. I don't give a fuck. But you look very one track minded, and I still can't find a word for what I'm looking for. But it doesn't matter. It's just, it's just people don't know how to be optimistic and think outside the box. Like you niggas just need to start opening up your mind. To take in information and not accept it for what it is. If it is like they say, take it in one ear and let it out. Sometimes you just take that shit in and just let it sit in until you come to whatever the shit that you questioning or whatever the person you bring up. Just save that for later. You probably find something else that align with what that shit was just talking about, and it will probably make sense. But it is a crazy thing, bro. I just don't understand. I feel like me personally, like I said, division. 
the thing about division, that's the thing. Stop being divided. We are dividing ourselves, fighting the For worry, no reason. Putting too much energy into shit that doesn't fucking matter. Why the fuck does it matter that I'm wearing a blue sock and a red sock and because your sock is green? Why does it fucking matter? It's still socks at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Still socks. Still socks. It still do the trick. Get still me to cover your feet. feet. You feel me? That is, that's the thing at the end of the day, bro. And I think that's what a lot of people need to understand. When you stop getting the fuck and just live and actually live for more greater for everyone, not just yourself, you, you'll feel better. And that's how I feel. Especially with this life shit. Y'all got Also, we the fucking people. For, y'all forgot? If you have a fucking problem, if we all have a problem with our government, we the fucking people. Our founding daddies put this shit in blood and stone in the Constitution. Don't forget that. Why you have rights. Everyone has rights. Man, everybody has rights. Go read your fucking rights. Go read your rights, man. Go read your rights. Go read your amendments. Go read the Constitution. Study up, man. Study up. Understand what the fuck, as people, what we can do. The reason why this shit doesn't go the way it goes, we're all divided. If we all voice one thing, a majority of us all voice, shit will be changed. Shit would happen. They cannot, the people cannot please an uh, unplease, you cannot please an unsettled group of Five thousand, five million people, five billion. One, one fucking personal group or company can't even fucking do that. They will change everything up. So, think about that. We the fucking people. Use your brain. Stop being divided. Start re- accepting for what people, their viewpoints. Unless it's dead ass some stupid shit and dead ass wrong, and it goes against and it's, it's bigotry, racist. And it's against of uh, it's against just just people people in life living all together. You know what I'm saying? And not to go in too hard on what I'm saying. So if people listen to too hard what I said, I'm pro choice. You know what I mean? Pro choice. Just to say that. Amen. We gonna go to the next topic. We gonna go to the next topic. And this topic is a fun one, as y'all know. We are a Virginia-based show, not podcast. Two this up, two is a down, show, baby. 4K. Turn that to 4K. We just, this recent weekend, had a pretty big event. I saw a lot of people there. I'm not going to lie. It was a pretty big event. It was a boxing match. Mm-hmm. Sean Davis's boxing match. You caught the fight? Caught the fight? I rewatched the fight on the back end. I'm not going to lie. I fell asleep. I fell asleep. I wish I was there. I honestly wanted to go. Happy as Niggas as didn't want to go with me. Happy as fuck. You was lit? You placed any bets on the fight? Uh-uh. Damn. Bro, I was in the middle of placing a bet on the fight. What what round did it end in? Second. Oh! I would have had money, second bro. Time, second. Oh my God! I you. fell asleep watching the penguin, bro. At least a minute 30 in. Bro. He you know, I was sipping a little. Gluck, 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 gluck. I was in the, I was lit. I was yelling, nigga. I was happy like that was. Uh, All right, so what happened? How did the first round go? How did the first round go? How was the first round? You first saw- round, first round was I. You know, he was just walking him out, trying to steal him out. Okay. okay. Him was out there any? Shit. Was there any tells that like? Nah, you just, the it fight won't go no go long. Nah, it didn't. It won't no tells. It really won't no tells. Won't no like, tells. It was just really. At the end of the day, I'm on the edge of my seat because, nigga, you home. This home. This is home. This he home. had the Norfolk shit on. Home. He had, yeah, Pop I seen that. Shit. Norfolk shit. He had that I shit see, on. Well, oh, that boxer that he walked, or uh, Young Crazy, I saw Young mm-hmm. Crazy walk out of boxer, and his last name was Davis. Is that his it, brother? Yeah, that's his brother? his brother? All three of his brothers won. Oh, that shit. Night. So, hey, he two up. That, he brought that shit home. He two up, two here. down. Big North ESPN, man. He brought ESP in here. Had them show the city. The city came out, showed love for him no and his kid. brothers, and they motherfucking won. Bro, that's second lit. round knockout. Second man. round knockout win. Eleven to zero. Now you did that at the crib, bro. You lit, nigga. You yeah. was lit. I was lit. I wanted to pick up my laptop and hey. throw the bitch. I was happy. You know what that happy. makes me feel like? You know what that makes me feel like? 
that one representation of how much VA love we got for niggas, just people, people in VA. The, I need a VA sports team, bro. I need yeah, one, bro. bro. I don't know. I'm putting this out there. This is going on the internet. Yes. Anybody can see it. I'm going to say it right now. We need a VA sports team, an NFL team, a motherfucking MLB. Do we have, we don't have an MLB team. I don't, we, not for that's not MLB though. Is it? it's not. I don't think that's major league. No, I don't think it's, I don't think it's major league. We need a baseball team. We need a, a basketball team. Give us a basketball team. Oh my God. If we got a basketball team, I would be at every motherfucking game. I'm getting season Man, tickets bro. every I'm year, you, bro. bro. I'm we, telling you. It's going to happen one year. Bro, just get us some we type getting, of sports bro, team. It's too much money starting to come here. The celebrities coming here. The Norfolk here, Casino like, about to open up. Real, like, come on. Real, something in the real, water. Just drop the fucking Lego movie. Lego movie biopic. Yeah, like, Nigga, I saw. What is that? What is that? Um, town, What is that? Atlantis. That's the one I'm thinking of. Atlantis was in the motherfucking Lego movie, bro. Virginia. Bro, I'm just saying. Give us a sports team, bro. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to rep that sports team. That's my team now. That's my team. That's me. All right, man. I that's want to do it so bad. That's fire, but how the city was for him, that was tough, bro. He did his thing. No okay. cap. Happy. Because, nigga, you ain't supposed to lose. You bring them home. You supposed to, you supposed to win. He did his you shit. You supposed to win, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Even if it was me, you don't give a fuck who I'm going against, nigga. You got to win. Get bring you home. This is for anybody. You come home, you ain't never fought in your home state, and you bring in some people, like a whole big production team that get a lot of these people. Come to your hometown, you f- doing something for them, show the fuck out. And when you show out and you win, you pop your shit the biggest. Nah, he went crazy. The fucking biggest I woke way. up. I woke up. I feel like he ain't popping shit hard enough for me. But me, I would have hey. popped my shit hard. Sometimes, Sometimes that five, humble seven, is right, bro. Two up, two down. This is for Virginia. No, nigga, hell no. I'm going I'm to put that bitch on my motherfucking chest, nigga. That shit going to be on my forehead, nigga. Bit VA shit, nigga. Like, nigga, I did this for the towns, nigga. I did this for the. Who do you city. think? Who do you think would be a good next fight for him? I really don't know. I'm not gonna you lie. I'm saying I really, I really do not watch like his weight class. For real, I really, I say boxing. I watch boxing when it comes on. Really, like when it comes to certain fighters, I'm not really like. I, I love boxing though. Boxing, but it's my when it comes sport. down to him, that's when I start paying attention. When it comes to these people, when they, I hear about their name. Like I'm watching the, the uh, Mike Tyson and goddamn what's the name fight. I'm Logan Paul, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely watching. That. I feel like that's rigged that. though. Something about it being on Netflix makes me think it's rigged, bro. It's for money. It doesn't. Matter. I know it's for money, but I think it's rigged, bro. I think feel like the winner is already decided. So that's why I don't know. Like I would obviously choose Mike Tyson. I'm choosing Mike Tyson against most people. Mm-hmm. But anybody like, would, but he probably. That's why I feel like he might lose. That's what I, I, I don't know. know. But other than that, it's still still fire, bro. Like I want that shit. That shit is tough. We have one more topic. One more. I don't think we're going to be able to do that today because technical difficulties. That's all I'm going to say. It was supposed to be a reaction to uh uh-huh, uh-huh. The the white bitch that the rap. Have you heard it? The white bitch rapping? We're supposed to do a reaction to that. And I want to still do a reaction to that, but we can't do a reaction because I'm using the iPad to record and we was going to react off the iPad. It was going to be a whole thing. But that is our last topic of... The new close to coast motherfucking show. Hey, that is it. Them shits ain't go nowhere when I throw them up. They just ain't go nowhere. I shouldn't go to the strip club no time soon. But hey, that's the first episode of the close to coast show. We ain't spending no money on you bitches anyway. Hey, y'all see, the time is shorter. It's a lot more digestible. Hopefully, clips come out faster. But hey, this has been the close to coast show. Thank you for Bitch. joining. Y'all better have had this motherfucking shit in 4K. Bitch. I ain't do all that 4K for no motherfucking reason. Bitch. Turn that shit off the world. Biatch. Alright, we out. Slut.